Hey, and welcome to Yodit's Table. Today we'll be making this red velvet trifle. And it is video nine of nine of our Christmas holiday series. I have posted every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays up until date. And so of course, if you missed that, go back and watch, there's some good stuff. However, if you want this specific recipe, please stay tuned. Catch you in a jiffy. In order to get started with our red velvet trifle, these are the ingredients we'll be needing. So here I have one and three fourths cup of all purpose flour, one and three fourths cup of sugar, two eggs, one cup of buttermilk, half a cup of oil, 12 tablespoons of butter. This is what we'll be garnishing with. So I have some kisses. These are the chocolate and vanilla swirls. We'll also be using some pre-made cream cheese frosting. I do have a recipe for that, so I'll put the link up above. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder, unsweetened. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking powder, or excuse me, baking soda. Here we have one teaspoon of vinegar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one tablespoon of red food coloring. It sounds like a lot, but we definitely want this to be concentrated, so that's why we have one tablespoon. And we'll also be using some chocolate syrup. Alrighty, let's get to it. So our red velvet cake did come out of the oven at the 30 minute mark. I went ahead and popped that in, and you can tell it comes out clean. It's still nice and springy. This is exactly what we're looking for. And so we're gonna allow this to cool off and then we're gonna assemble. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and set our oven to 350 degrees. And as always, we're gonna go ahead and start by adding all our dry ingredients to one bowl and all our wet ingredients to another. And so I'm gonna start off with all of our wet ingredients. So our vegetable oil, our melted butter. You want this to be melted, but not hot our eggs, our buttermilk, our vinegar, our vanilla, and our red food coloring. We wanna give this a nice little mix. And then we're gonna set this aside. Make sure you get all of the coloring in here. It will make a difference. Next, we'll be adding our dry ingredients. So our flour, our sugar, our cocoa powder, our salt, and our baking soda. And we also wanna give this a really nice mix. So now we'll be combining these together. With this specific recipe, you don't necessarily need a hand mixer. You can use one if you want, but key to this recipe is do not over mix. So I'm gonna pop a little and just kind of fold this in. Get this all nice and combined. You don't want any powder. You want it to be all liquid form. See, look at this beautiful color. That's what your red velvet should really be looking like. If it's pink, it's not red velvet. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Okay, so now that this is all nice and combined, we're gonna go ahead and pop this into our pan. So because this is a trifle, I'm actually gonna be using a sheet tray. And so because my trifle things are so small, I am gonna be able to make two out of this. So really there goes one, two, three, and four. So that's what that looks like. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this in here. Make sure to give a pretty even spread. Again, try to get as even of a spread as possible because that'll determine the thickness of your trifle and you want them to all be even. 
So that's what it should look like. It's spread nice and evenly. We're gonna pop this into our oven at 350 degrees for approximately 35 to 40 minutes. Do check on it at about the 30 minute mark and make sure that it's baked fully. But of course, don't over bake it because we do not want a dry ass cake and that will determine that. And so just pop a toothpick in there and if it comes out clean, then you're good to go. And so I'm gonna pop this in here and we'll be back. So this would be a great time to check out the other video and make your cream cheese frosting and unwrap your candies and we'll be back. So now it's time to assemble. And what I went ahead and did is I cut the cake into circles. I literally just turned this over onto the cake and cut it out. And so we'll start by putting a piece of cake right on down in here. And you can get a couple of these trifles if they're small enough out of it. And so then we're gonna pop some of this cream cheese right in here. Give this a nice little spread. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our chocolate syrup and drizzle that all up and through here and blended those bad boys up. So we're gonna go ahead and just pop those in here as well. And be mindful that you can do whatever your heart desires when it comes down to this of putting this together. Again, this is what I wanna do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it, but don't feel obligated to use these same exact ingredients. Switch it up if you feel the need to. And so I'm gonna put another piece of cake up in here and throw some more of this cream cheese right on into this bad boy. Some more chocolate syrup. Go ahead and pop some more of your chocolate in. Our red velvet trifle. I really hope you enjoyed this. And of course, if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace until next time.